Hi Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your How the Other Person Feels About You reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This reading may or may not resonate with you. Please check your other signs if you need more clarity. Or if you'd like a personal reading, you can go to moonpietarot.com and book your personal reading there. Or if you have an iPhone, you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and request a reading from me there. I will have it for you within 24 hours. All of the information is in the description box below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Moon Pie Tarot for daily guidance. Okay, so I have already shuffled the cards and I'm clarifying with the Vampire Tarot. This is a cute little deck that my son got for me and he told me if I didn't use it, he wouldn't get me gifts anymore because he says I never use things that he gets me and that's not true but anyway this is the October theme so I've already shuffled the angel oracle cards and I'm just going to pull cards and go through the reading for you okay so this is for those of you who have someone on your mind in whatever status you are even if you're not anything it's just someone you could be thinking about and this is what's going on with them so in the position of messages you could be receiving from them in the future they could tell you that you are very lovable to them, that you deserve love, you deserve to be loved, or they could just be a little arrogant and tell you that you deserve their love. <laughs> and so that just fell out. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So some of you could be dealing with, you could be dealing with an earth sign who's in their 30s, 20s or 30s. If not, this would just be someone who has like they could be delaying moving something forward and then the page of pentacles anyway so you could just really get some kind of a message from them that just where they just say to you hey you're lovable and then that's it <laughs> or, or or you are i i you know they could express to you that you're just so cute or you're so adorable but they like they really don't do anything you know so they could just a page of pentacles in the reverse i almost feel like when it's in the upright it's usually a card about someone who's valuing you i feel like the, the message is coming through that you just need to be a little bit careful if you're dealing with someone like this because they could just be saying things off the top of their head and not really and, and you're just kind of, your energy just might be like, okay, well, you know, you think I'm this or you think I'm that, but why aren't you doing anything? Like, you know, you're expressing, you, you know, you're saying to me, oh, I'm lovable and I deserve to be loved, but you're not doing anything. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is someone, you could be, you could be involved with someone who's just very, has very flirty energy, but they're not really... I don't want to say taking action because we don't have action cards here, but I feel like they're, they're, they're like distant from you a little bit. They're distancing themselves. They're not really reaching out all that much. They're not coming forward all that much. But when you do hear from them, they're like, no, 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 you're great. You're great. <laughs> but they're, they're, they like have no action behind that. Okay. So, in the position of how they feel about you. So, I don't know, some of you might be going through something where they, they're they detaching from you for some reason. They feel that you need to love yourself first, that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So some of you, for those of you who have a situation where there was a break, or this is someone that you were involved with before, and you're not with now, um, it could be that they're distance, they've distanced themselves from you. And if there's a chance to have communication again, their energy, you know, they could be communicating to you, well, yes, you're lovable and you should take care of yourself first because some of you may have not been doing that. All these pages, these two pages in the reverse. So the page of wands in the reverse, again, not really bringing messages of action or... Um, a desire to 
uh, try to like the page of wands when it's in the upright sometimes is a card about having a crush on someone or a playful energy you know they're it's in the reverse so they're not really making moves towards you right now uh, they're just really saying yes i think you're great but you need to love yourself first right now that's really what i feel like the energy is and they're kind of like they 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 want you to close some kind of chapter or end something from the past right they just kind of feel like whatever we had in the past we need to let that go right now you need they want you to let that go and and focus on yourself and take care of yourself and take care of your children if you have children maybe you were letting things go or slipping or maybe there was something going on in this relationship where you may have put too much emphasis on the other person and um maybe they're thinking that you need to focus on your kids i don't know if this will resonate for some of you it may or may not all right so now we have yet another page so the page of swords this is kind of like someone this person's been watching you and watching what you're doing maybe they think that you haven't been i feel like they want to communicate this to you like this is really what's going on in their mind like they want to tell you something that has to do perhaps with your children or with their children if they have kids or if neither one of you has children they may want to just tell you and i and please don't get mad at me i'm just trying to give this message i'll try to give what i can but it's like they want to tell you for those of you who don't have children that you're acting childish um and it's kind of like not nice messages but they're delaying doing that with the eight of wands in the reverse i think all three readings i've done have had the eight of wands two of them reversed one upright this being the second reverse so i feel like this person has something they want to say to you but they're not they're not they're holding their tongue they're biting their tongue and that's why they are keeping their distance in some way someone's i feel like someone's angry with you or upset with you over something i know some of you are going to leave comments and say no it's the other way around you know but then it, then if it is the other way around then it is but if it's not for you it's not for you but i just feel like they're really not reaching out they're they're keeping very light messages you know oh yes you deserve love and you should love yourself first and but they want to tell you hey why aren't you taking care of the, your children or something to do with kids or why are you acting childish you know and it doesn't mean that you are this person could just be they could be acting childish by not communicating with you properly about what's going on within them so their behavior is make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take oh both of these fell out the two of cups and the fool okay so you have this person who's really just not really reaching out and they're biting their tongue and they're not saying anything but their behavior is that they want to make the effort in this relationship or they want you to make the effort and take a risk and make the effort make some kind of effort pisces what is this effort that they they want you to make or that they need to make great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take they're feeling or not feeling they're coming across to you is like you know maybe something happened in the past and they ended a situation and now they're saying until you do whatever it is they require for you to do then they will make the effort in this relationship then they will take a chance and take a risk um because whatever it is that they're feeling or they're thinking they're really not communicating so well with you but they are you know they have this thing going on where they just feel like uh, i'm not going to 
be able to love you until you start loving yourself or you start, or you quote unquote, grow the hell up, right? I, please, I know I try to empower you women, but you know, if you have a situation that's going on with someone, you know, it's not always about the other person. Sometimes, you know, in relationships is a mirror. You constantly have to be looking at your actions and your steps. And it, I, I always hear a lot of people say, well, I'm the victim, I'm the victim. But if you stayed in a relationship where you were a victim, then, then you contributed to that because you knew to leave and you didn't. And that's for those of you who did know the difference. So I just feel this message is coming through how this other person is thinking and what they're feeling is they want you to take responsibility for something. And when you do, then they will make the effort towards making this relationship or whatever it is that you have they will they will once it's almost like once they they're saying you show me that you have a b and c and then i will meet you halfway so the position of what's external to them which is you some of you may be married to this person you have the wedding card the situation involves marriage or there may have been a marriage on the table, or this could have been your fiance, or um, the situation for you, some type of truth coming out. Trying to, you're trying to overcome some obstacles with this person and in your love life in general, um, or trying to face the truth about something. And here now we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So. Some of you are dealing, as I was saying, with an earth sign and feeling perhaps like, you know, who are they to tell me what I need to do or how I need to act? Why aren't they just accepting me? And you could be looking at this King of Pentacles person. If you're dealing with an earth sign, if it's not earth, this person could be very bossy and bullying. Okay, so, you know, this is your energy. You may be just saying, well, you know, I'm not going to commit or I'm not going to try to make things work with us because I'm not doing anything wrong. So you have some conflicting energy happening here during this time. And or even if it's not a wedding or if it's something that you wanted in your love life with a particular person, you know, there's trouble going forward because you and this other person are not seeing eye to eye during this time. Now your outcome card is attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. <laughs> Another pentacle card. So the queen of pentacles and the king of cups. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so it's really, there's an attraction between the two of you, absolutely. But this person, this is them, okay? They are very like, they're stubborn. You know, this could be a partner. This is someone. This is someone who's very grounded. They're abundant. But they guard their heart. And. Uh, the King of Cups in the reverse. I'm sorry, I had a message. I have to look at that. The King of Cups in the reverse. This is kind of like, I almost feel like this is how they're viewing you. It's very emotionally unstable. I really do. I feel like that's how they're viewing you and you see them viewing you that way and you're not happy about it. Yet, there's still an attraction to this person. There's still, you know, it's like, I don't feel like it's going to end. I just feel like there's some kinks that need to be worked out in this relationship. And I'm actually going to just pull one more card for this. There's something going on here. <laughs> this It's not over. There's going to be love coming through. There's going to be an offer 
of some sort. I just think that you're in some kind of a karmic situation, a lot of learning lessons with this person. They do want to offer you their love at, at the outset of this, and they will be, and you will either be receiving it or you will be offering it, but you guys have some kind of kink or something that you need to pay attention to. There needs to be better communication. And you may be hearing from this person, this is what they may be communicating to you, um, that there's something, you know, some of you could be dealing with someone who's not communicating well, and it's leaving you to feel um, like, what the heck is going on? And, and this is what's going on, okay? So I don't know, this reading kind of, I feel like, I don't feel a lot of positive energy, I'll be honest with you, with this reading because of all these, this stuff going on. I feel like the two of you are viewing each other in a very negative way, and uh, you need to overcome that with the Ace of Swords to get truthful about each other and overcome that because you're still attracted to each other. There's still a desire, but you're both viewing, like you're viewing this person as being too rigid and too stuck in their ways and they're ignoring you and they're viewing you as being emotionally clingy and very needy and you guys need to kind of smooth this out. And I do feel like you will towards the end because love will prevail. Okay, Pisces, so that was your reading. Um, again, please add me on uh, Instant Go if you have access to the app or for a personal reading, go to moonpietarot.com. Okay, thank you. Have a great October. All right, bye.